I feel very, very fortunate to have been the beneficiary of our support for Prop 30 because we would not have had a smooth year in the legislature were it not for the passage of, of, of that measure, which has now gone to benefit in a reformulation that I supported uh, uh, in all of our public schools throughout the state of California and particularly giving a boost for those students who fall into the lower economic categories in the state. Um, very important legislation. We were able to also help higher ed this year, but there's a lot more work that needs to be done. One of the things that needs to be done in the coming session is to get SB 371 passed. That is the Desaulnier bill that would provide a $75 transfer fee on all real estate transactions, and that money will go into the pot for affordable housing, which we, we don't have money for that anymore because of the um, uh, end of redevelopment agencies, and that's particularly important here in Santa Monica, where we would spend that money very, very wisely. That bill is bottled up in committee. As I said, I'm a co-author of it, and I'm going to do everything I can in the next session where we can bring it back, try to get it out of committee and pass it. That's one of my main goals for next session. Um, you're probably familiar with the issue of fracking. My uh, AB 1301 would have provided for, for a moratorium. <laughs> I know, that's great, but it fell short by 15 votes on the assembly floor. So the support for that important initiative is just not there in the legislature right now. Um, I did support Fran Pavley's um, uh, SB4. It's a stopgap measure, and uh, there's just more work to be done. So um, I hope you'll stay with me on that issue. Um, in the last few weeks of session, we came, became aware of a crisis facing public transit in, in our region and throughout the state because the federal government, the Department of Transportation, was threatening to withhold billions, that's with a B, billions of dollars of transportation money. Two of the biggest and most important projects um, in this area, the uh, Downtown uh, uh, Transit Center in downtown LA, um, and transfer station and also the red line, the subway, the purple line, subway to the sea, could have been stopped in their, no pun intended, in their tracks um, had that proceeded. I was able to um, work out with the governor, the uh, uh, pro tem, the, the leader of the Senate, and, uh, uh, and uh, Speaker Perez. AB 1222, that was my bill, which is uh, I'm waiting for the governor's signature. We're confident that it's going to get that signature. That's going to solve that problem for now so that the money will continue to flow. Uh, I was very fortunate to be appointed the uh, chair of Budget Subcommittee 3 by Speaker Perez. And uh, on that subcommittee, I provided oversight for some of our biggest uh, agencies, the PUC, the Department of Transportation, uh, Caltrans, and uh, the Natural Resources Agency. So there's a lot of oversight there. It's a very busy committee. There's going to be lots of work this coming year. Um, I want to uh, just close on two points. One is uh, another Senate bill, Senate Bill 260, which was a version of a bill that I was carrying, and we ended up combining them. I became the principal co-author of Lonnie Hancock, Senator Lonnie Hancock's um, SB 260. Um, that is a bill that is going to help change the dynamic on uh, uh, allowing a parole process for juveniles that were convicted and, and sentenced to life without parole. These are kids who were convicted of some pretty bad things, but under the current law, which the governor, I'm thankful to say, has just signed into law, under the, under the prior law, I should say, um, which has been changed by the governor's signature, had absolutely no opportunity for rehabilitation. Now, after 15 years, and a good record, these kids, who are now adults, will have an opportunity to convince a parole board that they are worthy of parole and renew their lives. Thank you. Finally, back on the issue of transportation, I'm going to be working with Santa Monica and our local communities to implement a bike share program. It's on the council agenda for this Tuesday. I urge you all to support this, but we have to work collaboratively because we can't have a patchwork of bike share programs throughout the region. Everybody has to adopt the same plan so that you can go from place to place, pick up a bike in one place, drop it off somewhere else. This is one of the things that's going to help us deal with our transportation issues.
Thank you very much.